For our next topic, it's about the vertical motion. And we know that vertical motion, it is a motion we're in, uh, in vertical, of course. So, uh, it's a contrary to the horizontal motion. It's, uh, it has a little, a little bit uh, great differences or comparison between the vertical and the horizontal. So, if we are going to look for its equation. So, um, actually, uh, there is a little set. A little bit um similarities and there's also a differences between the equations so as you can observe the patterns every patterns every uh, terms here that was used is just the same in the um, horizontal motion so it's just that uh, the main difference is that instead of um the uh, displacement it uh it, it will be replaced by height since it's vertical already and then uh, the um, initial velocity is as is it's still there and in the time and then uh, what's uh, the uh, positive I mean uh, the good news here is that you don't uh, there is no need to um, to to get or to to know the acceleration because the the acceleration here is replaced into G where in G is always given, it is equal to 9.81 meter per square second, or in um, English unit, it is 32.2 feet per square second. So then everything there is just the same in um, in, in terms of uh, patterns. So uh, there is what we call the, uh, a free falling body. So it is motion under a, gra a gravity, so free fall. So at this point, so uh, so sorry there is a little bit of error so h h here is the height height traveled from yeah, one place to another and then the initial velocity is uh, um, denoted as v sub i so v sub i is zero if it it came from rest or when it it is dropped and the one that drops is not moving thus uh, this must also be the case for free fall so our uh, final velocity is equal is the, uh, designated as v sub f v sub f also and then our g here is the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 meter per square second okay so for our next problem uh, for our first example uh, we have here a uh, problem and then it's stated here that um, uh, a sky driver jumps out of a helicopter and free falls for three seconds before opening the parachute. What is the sky driver's downward velocity? And then, and how far below the helicopter is is um, the sky driver when the parachute opens? So at this point, uh, first let's going to identify what would be the given. So based on the problem, uh, we have uh, free falls. So of course, our initial velocity will be equal to zero. And then uh, a time, three seconds. Uh, then uh, for to solve for a, to solve for a, uh, we're going to. Uh, what is the driver's downward velocity? Answer must be in 20, uh, 29.43. So, okay, let's check right later. So, uh, given is uh, the initial velocity or v sub i, and then the time is also given, and then our g or this, this is also given, of course. So, based on the uh, based on the given um, equation of uh, variables, we need to to find an equation that is most suitable for this kind of given. So. What is asked is velocity or the final velocity sub f so let's check so i think we will be using the equation number two so let's use this one so find so v sub f this is what is asked minus the initial velocity which is zero equals um what would be so here we will be so this or g this will be g this is g and then this one is h so th this is h so uh let's assume that if um downward if downward velocity oh uh, if going downward that the positive uh if the velocity is downward going downward we can say that our this is positive g and then if going upward 
our constant gravitational force is negative g. So I think it depends on on what what um what we what you will be using for this kind of uh, topic. So for me, I assume that going downward, I have a positive constant gravitational force, and going upward is negative uh, uh, g, which is uh, which is nine point eighty one. So at this at this point, so our uh, let's use so yes, it's downward velocity. So let's going to use uh, positive. So I will try to use positive. So positive. So t. So t. See. So our um time is. So this is nine point eight one meter per second. So let's check. Okay. So everything is inconsistent. Uh, everything has the consistency with regards to um units. So our time is equal to three seconds. We can say that our final velocity is equal to 29.43 meter per second. Okay, so this is our answer for letter A. Now, in letter B, the question is on how far below the helicopter is the dry is the skydriver when the parachute opens. So, at this point, um our let's going to find the uh, this uh, the height so how far it means the height in which the driver opens the parachute so let's be going to use the um uh, the height the first equation in which this is equal to this this is our height height as is the height so height is what is asked and then initial velocity is still zero since uh, he, yes, so let's go into his positive to get so uh, G. So I think you must use this reference based on uh, the professors that I had encountered. They use always this kind of reference, but it, it depends on yours. So um, I one half, one half. Constant gravitational force is 9.81. Our time is um, 3 seconds square. So our height is equals to 44 point, so using your calculator, 44.15. Unit is in meter. So this is our answer for our equation number, uh, for our problem number 1. <laughs> So for our next problem, it states that a ball is thrown vertically upward from the ground and a student gazing out the window sees it, it, sees it moving upward past him at 5 meters per second. The window is 10 meter abo meters above the ground. How high does the ball go above the ground? So first, uh, let us going to um, draw the, so what does the problem looks like? So let's draw this one. So sorry, I'm not that good in drawing. So, so if we have assuming that we have uh, so here is the window. So I stated there that the window is ten. Ten meters. If if here is the students. So, um, the ball is thrown vertically upwards. So assuming that. The ball is uh, what? The, the ball is thrown vertically upward, vertically upward. So assuming that there is someone who who throws the ball there. So we have a ball. Okay, so mas malaki pa yung ulo ng <laughs> ball, <laughs> ulo ng tao. <laughs> so here, uh, okay, okay. So five meter per second. So the velocity is. 5 meter per second okay so how high does the ball go above the ground so base uh, so in a particular problem sometimes there is a problem that is not used or you are not, there are given in the problem in which not applicable in the uh, equation in which you are going to neglect this one so for example here so the, the 10 meters uh, length or height of the window is not applicable 
so just neglect this one so since we are going to use uh we, i mean we are going to find the um height of how high the ball go go above the ground so how high the ball go above the ground so it means that we will be using um some of the equations here that is suitable for the uh, given so i think the best one to, to use is i think we will be using the third equation so given is the velocity and then and then our uh how high does the ball go above the ground so um based on uh the research so i think if you are going to research um the final velocity if we have um okay so so um let, uh in this kind of example let me um explain it so for a particular if say that we have a ball that is flowing goes there right so if the ball emits the highest point the highest point you see this is the highest point the ball will automatic go down right but before it goes down i think uh its velocity at this point or at this at the highest point is equal to zero so since since the since the problem talks about um it talks here that how high it means that what would be the highest point of the in which the ball go so at this point the highest point so assuming assuming that the ball goes like this so this is the highest point so this is the highest point which let, let's say that this is h and this is the highest point and at this point the final velocity here is zero as long as the problem says that how high how high so it means that the, the, that is the highest um, height or the highest point or the highest length that the um, ball go oh, so when we see the highest point that which we can say that the, velo the, uh, the velocity at that point is automatic to zero so at this point we could say uh we will be using the third equation and then apply a direct substitution so final velocity is zero okay minus initial velocity is um, given five meter per second so we are in is a unit so everything must be in meter also yes meter okay so uh what would be our sign for our um, constant gravitational force so negative it's because going upward so 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 that is our reference point a while ago that if the um if the constant if the if the velocity is going upward we will be using negative for our g this is negative 9.81 meter per square second and then our time is what would be the time the time is not yet given So the time here is ah okay so that we, so there is no need for time because we were just using the, the third equation we're in no no time is required so at this point so let me uh check this rewrite this one so negative two uh, nine point eighty one times the h so this is our h so if you're going to calculate our height or the ball the highest point of the ball go above the ground is our answer is um 1.27 meters so this is our final answer again as a reminder that the highest point so if the problem talks how high the, how high a particular thing go automatic the final velocity at the highest point is equal to zero for our last example it says here that a ball is dropped from a height of 60 meters above the ground how long does it take to hit the ground so if you're going to uh, by inspection we are uh, finding it's uh, let's check about the given so we have the height of the the ball we're in before it dropped is 60 meters above so and then uh, we are going to ask how long and the time does it take to hit the ground so this is just a simple um, problem so we will be using equation number one so um to this uh, h 
uh, okay sorry so our h is given so h here is equal to 60 meters and then the initial velocity is since it it, it, it i mean the ball is dropped it means that it, our initial velocity is zero the time is what is required what would be the uh, our sign is since it, it is going down so positive right it is going down it's dropped yes it's dropped so 9.81 one half 9.81 and then our time is required okay so you can use your calculator so you can find that our time here is equals to so you will be uh you will derive an answer so if you are going to use your calculator calculator so here is um, 9.81 9.81 divided by 2 so okay so you can you will derive answer of 3.5 second so that's the answer